Well, let's talk about the market a little bit. Uh, the jobs data actually came in. Um, for people who are not aware, uh, previously we actually had expectation of the jobs report coming out to be about 195,000 jobs to be added. Right now, we just basically went past our own expectation going up to 339,000 jobs um, added. Okay, so how this actually changes things, a lot of, a lot of the uh, mainstream media, they actually kind of, for my own opinion, of course, I think they're actually wrong about this. They're saying that the, it's harder for the for, uh, feds to pause on this because they are adding so much more jobs, okay? But the thing is that for the US to add 339,000 jobs instead of the 195,000 jobs as expected, okay? They actually have an increase in the unemployment rate by 0.3%. So right now we're at 3.7% in the May, okay? Previously we we're at 3.4%, right now we're at 3.7% for uh, unemployment rate. So why is this the case? Because you have such a huge increase in job, shouldn't it just kind of make sense for the unemployment rate to kind of go down a little bit more? It's quite easy. It means that more people are picking up two jobs. Some people are taking up three jobs. So more of the jobs vacancy are being taken up by people. It could be by the same person. It don't have to be by different people. So that's kind of where this kind of goes a little bit awry, okay? So for the feds, they don't really care about the amount of jobs that's being added. To a certain extent, of course they do, but at the same time, they want to have uh, unemployment down all the way to as close to zero as possible, or effectively max employment. That is one of their core mandate that they actually have. Of course, alongside with keeping inflation um, relatively stable at around 2% a year. So this actually bring up the whole entire concept of if that were to be the case, then why would the feds pause on such a report, okay? So I think that maybe the mainstream media is not really getting it simply because they think that, oh, you know, jobs report is very, very strong, hiring is very, very strong. Hence why, because of the hiring being strong, you know, uh, that means that the feds are going to be pausing. I don't think that would be the case. If anything, I think the chances of the feds pausing is a lot higher now. Okay, do get me, don't get me wrong because I do think that we are in a bearish state. I think you know, it's a very, very fake bull run. Chances are we are probably going to be going back down again. But I do think that a pause would definitely be coming. Okay, it's most likely going to be coming in this meeting. From what I'm looking at, all the data actually points to a pause rather than a hike or a cut. We are probably not going to be seeing a cut anytime in 2023. So this kind of brings forth why are the mainstream media thinking that a hike might actually be happening. Personally, of course, I do think that the mainstream media is quite bearish themselves, which is why they talk about the debt ceiling like it's the doomsday uh, happening all over again. And I think that for them to be bearish about this kind of thing, it, it only makes sense for them to say, oh, you know, strong strong jobs report, that's going to be a bad thing for the market. Hence, we need to tell everyone that it's going to be a bad thing for the market and people are going to sell. Okay, that's what usually uh, things would happen. And of course, I would uh, hope that the mainstream media is correct on this. Personally, I don't think they are. Even though my stock portfolio is actually currently siding towards what the mainstream media do uh, try to instill, uh, instill fear on. Okay, so, but I do think that there's also another thing that could actually create somewhat of a selling pressure, which is why they actually added 339,000 jobs in May. Okay, so this comes down to inflation, of course, like what the Feds actually, like what I said before, the Feds have a dual mandate. Okay, the dual mandate is simple. It means maximum employment and also to keep inflation stable at about 2% every single year. Okay, so... If that were to be the Federal Reserve dual mandate, and that's what they're supposed to be doing, okay, then for people who are getting two jobs or even three jobs, that means that we are actually looking at about 80,000 to 100,000 people additional that's taking up about two jobs, some even taking up three jobs. What that actually means is that those are the people that cannot handle inflation anymore. Because if I'm only ho holding on to one job, and my pay is not enough for me to, you know, cover feeding my family, giving them shelter, you know, clothing them, giving them enough money to go to school, allowances and things like that. And of course, that means that I need to go and get a second job. Even though it's going to be tough for me, I have to go and get a second job. Okay, that means that inflation is starting to really strike fear in a lot of the citizens as well. 
So that could also easily be one of the reasons why they can say that, oh, okay, you know, the Feds might think that it is time to pause to really destroy this inflation. So personally, I think that if we are going to be putting like a percentage basis of this whole entire thing for the Feds pausing and not, personally, I think that there will be a 10 to 20% chance of the Feds actually pausing. Oh uh, no, uh, 10, 10 to 20% of the uh, Feds actually uh, increasing rates, my bad. And then uh, seven, uh, 80 to 90% of them actually pausing. Okay, I think that would most likely be uh, uh, what's going to be happening. A pause would most likely happen. I don't think they're going to be raising the rates just to completely completely obliterate inflation because the thing is that if they were to go to that extent, sooner or later they are going to be fighting deflation and that's going to be a whole other fight that we are not going to be ready to fight for quite some time. But yeah, uh, I think that's that part for inflation-wise. But as for the FOMC-wise, I think I'll make a separate video for it. I'm um, currently not feeling super duper well. I just, well, I can't say I recovered. I'm still getting a lot of uh, like uh, stomach issues. I think I got some uh, po uh, case of food poisoning and such. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I hope that uh, this jobs data uh, gave you guys some sort of value. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.